Should we make this a two hour episode? Is it we not? Could. Wait, you guys crop it down, right? <laughs> no, Absolutely not. Dude. No, we, we're here for really? the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. And I've been sitting here like this all day. Yeah. I Wait, we need to spice this up. Why are you twitching um, so much? I don't know. Should I everyone twitch. go around and say something that they've never said in public? <laughs> sure. Let's yeah, that. that's a great idea. Start it off, Kramer. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, hey. I... That's just, that's just, that's just, Hey, welcome back to the uh, the sit and chat. It's gonna it's, start in a while. I know. I always think to look into the my uh, my coverage, but then it's it is in the it is in the wide. It's in the wide. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Keep the energy going, Bradley. Hey, welcome back to the uh, to the sit and chat. Um, today is a, a very special episode. We have some cool guests. Um, it's I, I realize it's in the title, so it's not like it's like a surprise or anything. Thank it's you. Like, yeah, you know we went over this already. So anyway, uh, we have uh, Jake's girlfriend, uh, Mika Abdallah, coming on, and then uh, her co-star, Connor... Sherry. Sherry? Yeah. Sh Irish? Yeah, that's very Irish, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in honor of uh, St. Patrick's Day that just passed. How about that? Did oh, you do anything for St. Patty's? Yeah, it's dead. Oh, wow. St. Patrick? Anything? Um, we went to a bar and did karaoke. Although, I don't know if that was on St. Patrick's Day. The night before, maybe? It was the night before, yeah. I mm. think we... Oh, we screened Mika's movie. Oh, nice. Yeah. I did nothing for St. Patrick's Day. Literally nothing. You didn't do anything on Sunday. You didn't see your family. You didn't do anything. Well, on Sunday, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning, and uh, I stretched, ate a little breakfast, and I ran a half marathon. Oh, what time did the marathon start? 7.30 down in San Diego. <sighs> did you see Chris? Mm -hmm. Did he run it? No, he came and got lunch with us. Oh, that's nice. Um, Who did but you run it with? It was me, uh, Ben, and Louie. The three of us drove down there. Louie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. And so, yeah, now Louie and I are training to do a full marathon. Yeah, I guess it, the best time to do it is when you have young legs, you know? It's kind of my thought, dude. It's like now is such a great time for me to do it. I feel like I'm in good shape and I've been running a lot. And I'm like, might as well push it a little more. We did 13 miles in under two hours, which is pretty good. Um, you get a Forrest Gump after you do the marathon too. Just, just go for like a thousand miles. I'm I'm hoping to do the New York marathon. Yeah, I think I'm, I think you want to make like a multiple trip, like do the New York, do the Boston. Dude, Boston, you to qualify, you have to do it in sub three hours. What does that even mean? <laughs> you have to do twenty six point two miles in under three hours to what is qualify. That? What is that? Like, like the average person can't go do the Boston Marathon unless you do. Oh my god, you're running sub ten minute miles. You're running oh, like brother sub no. eight minute miles. No, the guy who did a, uh, the guy who won, the race that we were in, he ran it in an hour and fifteen. So he was averaging like five thirty miles. He was sprinting, basically. Yeah, my average was 840. How in the world? Bro, the guy, uh, I think the guy was from Kenya, maybe? He he broke the record of... Uh, the one recently? Yeah, he did it in, I think, two hours flat. He he was running... Four-minute miles. He had to have run uh, multiple Yeah, I think it was around miles. there. Um, he, his his two-mile pace was 730, which was my fastest mile. Two miles he would run in 7.30? Yeah, I mean, he's just fucking gliding on air, bro. It was unbel It's unbelievable. What shoes does he wear? That's what I got to get. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I know. That's Remember those, like, those moon shoes from the 90s? It's, it's definitely like not bouncing. his legs or his endurance or anything. No, there's like some that. springs it's, in it's there. It's going to be his shoes. Do you think they, like, dope like that? Like, they put little springs in their shoes? Is that like a, that like like a, a marathon infiltration? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like Lance Armstrong, the human growth hormone, except yeah, you got dude. springs no, that, in your shoes. Springs in your shoes is like putting a chapstick on a driver face. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just keeps you straight, keeps yeah. you going. No, nah, dude, it was a, uh, it's a tough thing to, uh, it's, I read something that 0.1% of humans have run a marathon and I'm like, that's, that'd be a point cool one. Yeah. It's like, that'd be well, a cool thing to be able to say you did, you know, less than 2% break 82. That's true. Yeah. That's true. From what tea box? Yeah, that's a question. Um, I, I think you should. Question. I think you should run the marathon with me. I will definitely train. I do not have hope that I will be able to run more than fifteen miles. But you are a soccer player, dude. Like you have that endurance in you. I think you could easily grow that back. I, I think just it would want just be doing big it. legs. 
You need to go to the gym then. But I mean, couldn't I get that from running or no? Not really. It, I've found that actually it's thinned my legs more. Damn. Yeah. It really thins your knees. I have those fucking runner knees right now. Where oh, it's just like, like right here? You just see the kneecap, the oh. whole thing. Just you need to go to the chiropractor or something. <laughs> you getting oh, old, I have, Oh, worst cramp ever. Ah, oh, like that muscle right there, it's nodding. I can feel it nodding. Like that muscle that's right above your shoulder blade bone. The shoulder blade bone. Oh, my mom has been up there for too long. Hey, while I'm in pain, I, I wanted to tell you something that uh, we're going to do today. And it's going to be something so fun. It's called a survey. <laughs> okay. Survey um, says? The survey says, please don't talk about it. Um, no, we're, we're doing an audience survey because we want to know what you guys think of the podcast and what you want to see more of and some things that have been of note. So... Uh, we're going to provide a link in the description, and then if you want to fill out that survey, it's about it's about less than 10 minutes, and it'll let us know what you guys think, give us some insights, and uh, if you fill out the survey, make sure you go leave a comment on our Instagram, because we're going to do a giveaway there for a couple cool products and mm -hmm. some cool people, and that's it. There's more stuff about the survey. Can you say it? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I think more than anything, we just want to hear what everybody thinks of the podcast, but like, we we read the comments, we see what people like, what, what they don't like. Um, we're trying to do more of that, um, especially with the, with the giveaways, we're going to try to do more of those and give away some cool prizes to people, like you said, who leave a comment on our Instagram. Well, we want to reward people for watching because God knows that watching it's not the reward. No, no. And, uh, we want to keep people here rather than, uh, what happened with what happened last time. What did happen last time? We'll be right back. Restart it. Okay, <laughs> we're we're going to keep it right here. Um, no, we, we, we just want to know more about you guys and uh, learn what you like and what better way than to ask. So yeah, super short survey. It's about 10 minutes. And uh, you don't even have to answer all the questions. If you don't like the questions, you can skip them. You know what I hope some people notice about this podcast? That there's a dog right there? Right. Something I hope that people acknowledge or notice is that uh, we do we do try... And I think we've done a really good job at not wearing the same outfit two times. Oh, my God, dude. It's tough, but I don't think I've done it. Chi-Chi. How about that? That's awesome. Yeah. But, like, I, I think I mix it up every every week. I, I don't think I've ever repeated a top. I'm going to certainly be cutting into... It's cut, It's coming up. Like, once we get to episode 40, certainly going to be wearing the same thing. It's tough because we're f filming two tomorrow, so I'm like, i got to find two different shirts to bring tomorrow. We're filming two tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. With who? <laughs> well, hey, um, let's not worry about those guys. Let's worry about our guests today. And I'm very excited to I have... one more topic. I'm very excited to hear, hear one more topic. <laughs> this is my last you. thing that I was going to say. Is there a better feeling? I went out with some friends the other week. Is there a better feeling as a guy when your friend... Not on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, not on St. Patrick's Day, the week before that. Mm -hmm. Your friend who's a girl is like... A guy's like kind of being weird to her at the bar or something like that. She's like, and come she's save like, me. Yeah. That's like the most like testosterone filled moment for a guy when it's like, hey, uh, can we come over here and like. Do you think you've ever been on the other end of that? <laughs> oh, fuck. I hope not. I think I've. I've never thought about. Well, I'm never I think creepy. You... I've never been creepy with oh, somebody. Oh, is it creepy? It's yeah, not I'm like... saying like, the, uh, like okay. not like a. Oh, yeah. There's a difference between like a. Uh, oh, God, this... I, yeah, he's, yeah. I don't want to talk to him. Or compared to like a, he's being weird. Oh, okay. That's no, I've never been on the other end of that. No, I've but been that's on, like I'm the sure best like feeling though. I've talked too much and someone's like, all right, I got to go. For sure. Most of the time we'll just say, all right, I got to go. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> this conversation sucks. I'm sure so. the creepy part is you have to establish your presence too. Like you, mm. because if, if the girl's just like, oh, I'm going to walk away. Then if the guy's being creepy, yeah. how are we going to keep? I was at a bar a few weeks ago with a friend. Same story or different? it's the same story i don't know okay. why it's it's yeah. slowly getting further and further away uh, yeah so a couple years back yeah. yeah um and i i saw her talking to this guy and she like walked over and he like kind of walked over too and she like grabbed my arm to make it look like we were dating and then the guy like asked me a couple questions and then walked away and she was like sorry i just could not stand talking to him and i was like fuck it <laughs> sorry yeah, yeah. so he's Told these traps, man. <laughs> yeah, and that guy was like, "Whoa, I don't know, I can mess with those traps, dude. That guy's terrifying." 
Speaking of traps, let's bring in our uh, let's bring in our guest. Connor's got huge traps. <laughs> huge traps, dude. I uh, know he doesn't. He has a very long neck. The traps would probably slim it down. But um, <laughs> let's. Uh, I'm very excited. I bet Mika's not going to talk to me this whole interview. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> probably not. No, it should be good. Um, all right, bring him in. Hey everyone, we're here with uh, Michaela Abdallah, Mika Abdallah, and uh, Connor Sherry from. Their very own movie, Snack Shack, and their very own, our very own, their very own. You guys produced it's our own movie. Yeah, their very own. It's crazy. Yeah, two man show. And thank you guys so much for (laughs) coming and sitting down today. Uh, You know, we didn't. I didn't actually know who was going to be here today. I don't know if it was just going to be Mika or if it was going to be Connor, Mika. Um, But Mika didn't tell me until last night that Connor was going to be here. But I'm very happy that you are here, so we can ask you a plethora of movie questions. Oh, perfect! I also didn't know that I was going to be here until last night, so yeah. that was great. And you didn't know I was going to be here till five thirty. Five thirty this morning. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's because I texted him at ten o'clock, and he was asleep. And that's for sure. At five thirty. Yeah. But anyway, let's talk about your guys' movie. I, like I said, I knew nothing about the film. I didn't even know. I didn't even know who was the lead of it. I didn't know that you were the lead of it. I didn't. <laughs> really? I didn't know your part. I knew nothing about it. Yeah, Technically, I really. I didn't. just invited him to screening and didn't really, other than like what we had talked about when we were in Nebraska. Like, like literally when you really were know. filming it, but I feel like we didn't. I, I don't. I didn't What's think the we really out? talked I th- about it. I think the trailer yeah. had just come out. Yeah, I didn't no. even see the trailer. I just saw. It's I actually cool. Kind of saw a second of what you posted on Instagram, but I Mika really, wasn't in his algorithm because she hasn't posted in a year. And he a half. has me muted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have her blocked. Yeah. So. Well, before we ask you film questions, and why don't you tell us, uh, tell tell the people that are here that don't know the film uh, what the film is about and who you are. Uh, yeah, the film is called Snack Shack. It's set in the '90s. Um, I don't know. Why I actually, did, I don't know why I did that. I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's an evil story. No, um, <laughs> uh, it's called Snack Shack. It's set in the '90s. Um, our director wrote it, Adam Raymeyer, and it's about his life. And we got to shoot it in the real town he grew up in. Um, Mika plays. I play uh, Brooke. <laughs> I'm like the. I don't know. I'm like the girl that that comes in and like disrupts the friendship between Connor and our co-star Gabe. Um, yeah, it's a coming of age. It's, it's a, a coming, coming of age, age comedy, like, like very '80s '90s yeah. vibe. No, I also phones. didn't know it was a true story. Yeah, like, I yeah. didn't know that was based on. I like I said, I really knew nothing about yeah. it. So my character is the only character that's not like a legitimate real person. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, my character is just like a mix of. When he said that, I was Women. curious that Adam didn't put like a based on true events or real events yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Well, he says but it's, it's a, not necessarily like, it's like kind of a loose ended thing. Yeah. yeah well, it's he, like it's like multiple summers. It's not like that was one summer of his life. Yeah. It's like multiple summers. Well, that's what I'm saying. Not based on a true story, like based on real events. But also at the same time, most people who tell a story about their childhood don't always say, yeah, oh, this is the story about my childhood. They just give you. I will give it uh, some high praise. Because it reminded me of two movies that are some of my favorite movies I've ever watched. Mm. Which ones? Shawshank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was weirdly similar. And to Shawshank. Glorious Bastards. Yeah. So, um, uh, Perks Being a Wallflower. Mm. Mm. Sure. And The Spectacular Now. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, interesting. Which are some of my favorite movies. Just gonna, it reminds me a lot of Days and Confused. Days and Confused for sure. Too. It's yeah. very, very. Those are all the same kind yeah. of vibe. But I, I it mm. fit perfectly into that world. And I, who was the cinematographer on it? Because whoever did oh, that, movie, yeah. Gee, that was so cool. Cool. It I know. felt like you're watching a movie in the '90s. Like it was yeah. so good. He's amazing. Yeah, they like color graded everything. So before, um, like every day, they would take a film photo for the cult to match color, and then they would shoot it and then use that picture to match. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I that, the didn't pic- know that. Oh, the pictures. Are, I'm like just went away from the mic. <laughs> uh, the pictures are really cool. He has pictures of. Uh, they would take a film photo. Yeah. Yeah. Like every day. How would they develop it? No, they Charles developed was getting it them post. developed like. Oh. They just used it for their color, like matching. Oh, that's match really cool. That's smart. The, yeah, it was that's really, cool. really cool. And I love those pictures too, because they're all like they shows every day, like what we were wearing and where we were and stuff. It's really cool. Was it a big production? Because it feels like it feels very indie. Yeah. But you guys have some like, heavy hitter actors. It was too, big. So. it was like actually pretty big, which felt crazy in the town of Nebraska. Of yeah. Nebraska City, like we found um, like for base camp we had some like abandoned. I don't even know what that was. The some parking big, lot? Some big parking lot. Yeah, of it was some, like a church like, parking lot. Oh, was it? I think. I don't know. But, so, <laughs> so we, we had blew like, up the church. We, we blew up the church. Um, no, we had like all of the 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 big you know trailers in the in the lot kind of like tucked away. And the I mean, the town's just like so small. So it was so weird to have us all like 
milling about. Yeah, I feel like nothing would film in Nebraska. Ever. No, they had mm -hmm. never seen anything like it. Especially the town. The movie? No, literally. No, Did you see the comment on Charles' post that he posted like the film photos? And then there was a massive comment that was like, I am so uh, proud to be part of the screening. And I was so happy to be there. And thank you guys so much for bringing this experience to Nebraska City. Yeah, they never seen anything like it. No, that's pretty cool. It also actually the town we was did like, we did find out that they did shoot something with Shawshank. No, with <laughs> in Nebraska City. Yeah, no, in Nebraska no, no, no. City. Really? Yeah, like a long time ago, they hmm. cheated something for for Nebraska City with Jack Nicholson, like well, forever well, ago. Well, it was a big deal too for Adam because it was the the town is so small and it was not financially smart to shoot in Nebraska. No, it, it's not an incentive state. Yeah, so he had to like really fight production to do it where he grew up versus in like yeah, Wyoming or something. Yeah, they wanted to do something. it in like Ohio or one of those neighboring Midwest states. Oh, like something that actually gives a tax incentive. Yeah, tax yeah, yeah. Right yeah I think uh, Ooh, probably Ohio. explain to the average viewer, the different states give certain rebates for film production. Yeah. So if you go film there, you get some money back. I know if you go film in like, um, I think it was Louisiana, you get like $900,000 back on your production. Yeah, that's crazy. So a lot really? of people will be like, well, why would I film in... Los Angeles, yeah, it's convenient to have all the actors here, but I can go to Louisiana and I can get nine hundred thousand mm. dollars more for my production. And it's not know? that much to put up actors. No, like yeah. you're not buying, especially if you're doing an indie movie. <laughs> especially and you get the way 000. they do it most of the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Motel That's, Six don't cost that much. Well, we yeah. stayed in a Homewood Suites, and we found out like towards the end of the shoot when we did our movie that the rooms were like fifty dollars a night or something like really? that. Really? Yes. Well, had, when you I do big oh, bedrooms, totally when that. you do like a big like yeah. uh, production or you like a couple of things, thing, you get like a crazy deal on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but how long was your guys shoot? How many? How many days? I think it was like ten weeks. Yeah, I think it was. Oh no, I think it was like, I think it was eight weeks. Eight weeks of actual but, production. But we went out there two weeks early yeah. to hang so out. Like Twenty-five, and thirty like, days. Shoot. Yeah. 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 How long have you guys have you have you guys been doing press for? Like three weeks, four weeks? No, I mean. Like, don't you guys live together? Yeah, about huh? Don't you guys live together? How am I supposed to? Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm like, why are you asking? I was like, don't, I don't <laughs> you know. They don't me. know this. Don't you guys wake up every day and look at each other. Say, there's <laughs> a lot of weird sexual tension between the two of you. This is creeping me out. <laughs> they don't know that. I couch. know that. I mean, I I know the answers Wait, to all these questions. Know. Everyone here doesn't know that. Not what? that. The, the question that you he guys asked. don't know, they don't know that you guys are dating. No, no they do they know. Oh, dating. oh, I thought we. Oh, okay. That okay. would be. I was like, are we? Did we just keeping hilarious? it a secret. Yeah. Yes, it's very <laughs> secret. No, I'm saying I like every question that Bradley has asked and every question I've asked, I know the answer to. But that would kind of defeat the purpose of this interview, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But, uh, let's keep <laughs> so doing that, Bradley. Doing, ask another question. Let me answer. So please. we've been doing um, press okay. for two weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, Jake's my representative today. Mm. <laughs> Everything gets passed through him. Yeah. So anyway, how long have you guys been doing press for the movie? And I what think you I thought you were gonna ask how long you guys have been dating. How long have we been dating? <laughs> <laughs> mm, uh, two and a uh, half, three years. Guys, uh, I, I really need to cough. So just go ahead. One go ahead. Just do it away from the mic. Oh really? Oh God, he really <laughs> loaded that one up. Oh really? I've been holding that in for. The, since we started, I have to pee so bad. <coughs> well, wow, this interview is going super well. Um, so, Mika, yeah, here's a question that I don't know. Okay, I do know. Uh, what, how did you get into acting? What was your first experience in acting? <laughs> I never. Or, where are you from? I actually, question. do. I don't even think that you know this story. Probably not. I feel like everybody who's from Dallas, Texas, has, has like the, the same, same exact story. And we've interviewed like three of them, but yeah. I feel like it's probably going to be the same. It's going to be the same story. Yeah, probably. we'll take it away. We'll okay, get to you ahead. in a second. Well, don't um, worry. You can head know. out if you want. Cool. No, I, yeah, I, I don't actually. Call. Call. No, 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 I don't have any of these to share. Do, so. I'm new. That's true. Go on. It was a what? commercial. Yeah, well, no, it, uh, it actually wasn't. It was, um, oh. no, my oh. mom, <laughs> only. I, I'm an only child. I was super shy. Um, my mom was really sick of it. And so she was so sick of it. Oh, my God. She was so sick of me. Why doesn't she talk? There's yeah. one. There's one video of like a, a, a self tape or it's something for a commercial. That was the end of your story. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and watching her interact with her mom, who's like coaching. I'm like her trying to do a slate, like the whole, and it's like on a camcorder, so it awesome. like cuts. You know, yeah, it's like all cut together <laughs> on its own. I'll show you the video. It's really crazy. <laughs> and I'm like it's trying to do a slate, and I'm like, seen. hi, I'm Mika, <laughs> and my mom's like, do it again, do it again. She's a nice person now, yes. but now, <laughs> yeah, at the time she really had big, big, big dreams for me. It's a tough thing though, to be, I, I would imagine to be like a, a mom of somebody who's like either trying to act or is acting. Cause you're like, well, I want you to do well. Kim? I want you to embarrass yourself, you know? And yeah. the kid is just like, 
all over the place. Doesn't I, even know what they're doing. That's so crazy. Yeah, and I was like wearing like I'm like wearing like volleyball gear. I'm like wearing knee pads and like spandex, and I'm like, why? I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> what was and my the mom commercial? was like, don't, don't. I was like trying to mention like, oh, I look bad right now because I <laughs> just went to volleyball, and she was like, don't say that. I was like, that's, why? Oh my god, my, that's my mom's classic thing is that w w she thinks that the two of us are so self-deprecating. Like all we do is just say how much we suck, and now nobody yeah. watches our podcast. Wow. God damn it. Yeah, she'll Jim. call me and be like, why are you always just ragging on yourself? And I'm like, I don't I'm feel a good like good time. I, yeah. I don't know. Well, what's what's better? We sit here and rag on ourselves, or we're just like, God, we're, we're just we're doing amazing. so well. So awesome. Just this is just, everything's going real well. I'm so that's, awesome. That's crazy, though, because all three of you grew up like in the industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. When did you start? Uh, well, I've been acting my whole life, it's but it's just like maker. doing theater and stuff. But uh, like five years ago, like when I moved to L.A., Started from, but not really. I really you, started three years ago because the first two years I was here, I was just doing like short films. But well, you, but you also started like doing more legitimate, like actual acting things. Yeah, right. I was gonna say, did you move here for college or did you move here? Well, I moved here. Uh, well, I couldn't afford to move here, so UCLA was like what made me get to LA. But it was for acting. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I w went to UCLA, but it was housing in the hopes yeah that's, so crazy. that's yeah. such a crazy way of doing that like yeah. manipulating i, guess I'll, I the guess I'll go to college just so i can live out here it's yeah, cheaper to go haven't. to college yeah well, well, for instance for sure. you you pay uh, out you, you pay, I pay a lot hey where are you college? from uh, norcal oh okay. like san jose so i get in state yeah you know i just Huge. got in state tuition like last year really and i'm like a seventh year senior <laughs> <laughs> so crazy but well, you're about to finish they right they did it cuz they were like god she like, graduated already maybe she'll just leave um, is this your last semester? Yeah. I'm about to do my second to last finals uh, like this week, actually. Is it in person? No. No? No. I had one in-person midterm this year, though. That was like insane. I've never, I haven't done that in a long time. Mm -hmm. I have a, a video on my phone of uh, my last exam I ever took in college. Last thing I ever you did in college. You recorded yourself? In the room. Well, I was just in my bedroom because uh -oh. it was COVID. Uh -oh. So I, I literally like, have oh. a video of just me going, beep. <laughs> I thought you popped college, out. At the and that was it. <laughs> Wow. In the exam room. It's so selfie. depressing. Yeah, I just did my last um, Scantron. That was crazy. Oh, Number two whoa. pencil in all. Yeah. I love that that's still a thing. What, is that for like testing regulation? Well, to see yeah, where, yeah. Yeah. To basically see if they're teaching anyone anything? I No, no. No, I wouldn't. No. no, 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 no it was like just how standardized yeah. testing yeah. as a, the as a 23 years like old. The, the, the little bubble. that you bubble in, yeah. Yeah, but you have no. to go, it's just a form of. You just go buy them. Like if you have a multiple choice quiz in any university they'll just have you go buy them and then you just keep them on the side from a vending machine i had to buy a blue oh. book the other day no. yeah i wa i like waddled into the you know the um, <laughs> you waddled, I waddled, I waddled into the, ooh, I, stop I mean, I waddled you're into, well you're talking that you're way okay well i'll just go like this i waddled into I've been the little at the shop back. everyone's had this whole time the little so. shop that's under like you know the little shop where there's <laughs> like the little shop on top right you know next the to the um, right next to the sculpture garden the down like the underground you know, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, great. I don't think I know the little great. shop. Um, yeah, no, bought a blue book. It's crazy. Oh, the library. No. So anyway, anyway uh, so what was your first great. project that you did out here in LA? Me, me, you, Mika, you. me or Mika? You. Uh, oh God, it was actually. Wait, when did you graduate from USC? 2021. I was there then. It was a USC uh, film. Really? Yeah, it was a USC like a uh, thesis film. What was it? It was called. Uh, uh, Oh God, guys! I don't. I think I had one line. Um, spit it. No, Margot. Some. It was a musical. Were you freaking out with your one line? Was it over no. Zoom? No, no, no. It was uh, when I. It was. We had to do all of them over Zoom. Wait, you were doing the short films? films over Zoom? Yeah, in the last year and a half. How? It was awful. Oh my God! We were all I, wait, I saw what? him do one in and when we were living together in the Tellaria. <laughs> he was. <laughs> He was like, oh my God. I, I, ah! Dude, I had this girl who had never acted you. before in her life. Like, I and I had to get people from the acting program. And sweet, like they took it so seriously. <laughs> they were breaking down characters in the scene and like asking questions to Bradley and like the production coordinator and all these people. And he would have to do like Zoom sessions and like be like, all right, well, let's try it this way, whatever. No, the per performance never changed. And it, truly, it was some of the most I, wild takes on those scenes I've ever seen. There was one time that... Uh, it was so bananas. I, I like I was trying to explain it to her and I was just trying to be like, you know, like if if a director gives you a note 
the last thing you want to do is do it the exact same way, right? Yeah, yeah. So you try yeah. to use sometimes you go overboard and like do it too far, and they're like, eh, it's somewhere in the middle of that. I would say something and nothing would change. Like not even a thing about it would change. So it had been going on for about an hour. And I texted Jake because we were living together at the time. And I was like, please come in here. You need to watch <laughs> this, right? And I was like, but I'm sitting at the desk. I'll tilt the camera up a little bit. So Jake opened the door and crawled Crawl. in the room. <laughs> And I could just like see him doing it in the background, and he just sat there and watched it. It was it was painful. It was like yeah. the room, like you guys seen the room. Yeah, that's like what it that felt like. yeah, that yeah. level acting. And Wait, this yeah. poor girl was probably like, oh my god, like Bradley yeah, was watching me. This is my <laughs> chance. For the one guy to school. <laughs> <laughs> that's so yeah. yeah it's like worst case scenario. Brutal. You know, it's really funny, and I I don't think I've even told you guys this. Definitely not you, but when I um my mom loves college, big big college lady, um. And when I was moving out in general, just, like, just, no, just, like just, seriously, college. she's all about the college degree. She was a teacher and the whole oh, thing. Okay. Um, but when I was moving to LA, I didn't want to go to school. I was like, I'm just going to be an actor, you know? I mean, I did. I, I liked it. But she printed out like 30 like actors, like working actors that were getting degrees. And you were in the little booklet that she well, gave. Oh that's God. incredibly oh incorrect because you were. I wasn't working. Oh, I oh. was just at school. Oh. Uh oh. Well, you, you're, there was your face. I remember <laughs> distinctly. She was like, see, he's at USC. And like, you actually, were working. Oh, you, did, you, did you did school. You did school. You were working. Yeah. 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 That's actually very nice of your mother. Yeah. No. And, it, and, and it's a impressive booklet. It worked. I mean, Meryl Most Streep. Oh, she's, she's Yale. getting her degree. No, she went to Yale. Oh, James Franco went to your UC, mother went UCLA. to UCLA. No, no. I thought Franco oh. went to NYU. No, he went. Well, no, he did go to UCLA at some point. Uh, he was he was one of those people that went everywhere. He was he one of those people. UCLA, so I think he was doing. I he think was an he, English he, major, and I think he taught like some weird seminars. Guys, well, he just wanted to be oh. in college. UCLA you has know. a uh, fraudulent list, though. That's true. They like we've talked people, about this. People who just like walk on campus, they're like, yes, yeah, so our alumni. Or they Dude. like to say that that like people are like film alum or like theater alum when they film did. Alum. Yeah, if, when yeah, they, but they did, didn't like, even go for that. Yeah, when they didn't exactly. even exactly. Dude, I. When we were filming Hubie, I was talking to uh, Ben Stiller, and we were Ooh. talking about USC. Ben Stiller, he's this up and coming actor. Who is he's that? Really good. Yeah. He's also a working college actor. Oh, really? That's um, good. But he he really wanted to go to USC. That was like his dream school, and he didn't get in. And then he Same. got into UCLA, and he went for theater, and he went there for he said four months, and then dropped out and never Wait. went back. But they always say that Ben Stiller is like one of their alumni. Wait, you that's should a, add him that's to your... literally my story. I will. Didn't get into USC, got into UCLA, went for acting for four months, and then left. Dude, you this might is be Ben Stiller. Stiller. Guys, ben Stiller, I yeah. am Ben Stiller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I should like. But I, I was had, gonna say email him. I don't. I had have just ben started. I had just started at USC, and I remember thinking like, because we were there, and then Ben said to Adam like, "Oh, he's going to USC," because Adam went to NYU, and uh, Adam was like, "Oh, I really wanted to go to USC, but I didn't get in either." I'm like. It feels like I shouldn't be going to this school. Like if if these two if you didn't get, in, get in, this is not like yeah, it's not going to go well for you if you get in. You know what I mean? Especially with Ben Stiller too. Is like his dad was actively on Seinfeld probably. Yeah. While oh yeah, he was applying. Oh, to yeah. be Maybe they sense that like these people are going to be successful, so we should not let them go to yeah, USC. And, that's why and then were, with you, they were, they were like, like, I really okay, think yeah. that's <laughs> not the mindset <laughs> of you USC. I think USC definitely would like. You're saying that USC is denying kids. That they think are going to be successful? Yeah, it's a joke. It, that was a joke. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. 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 so those two very successful <laughs> I was like, I people like... didn't get into USC. <laughs> okay, yeah. Maybe this is why your mom wanted you to go to, go to school. You know? Yeah, she wanted me to catch uh, up. She's a big planner, though. She helped you with a bunch of shit in high school, and and sounds like she sort big, of big planner. Yeah, like she helped you with your speech stuff, which I feel like is oh, yeah. a big part of your. She did. Yeah. No, she's uh, she's amazing. She's very uh, very supportive, while also being not annoying about it, which where, is huge. Where up in NorCal are you from? Uh, San Jose. Oh, nice. Yeah. And he did speech. Speech and debate. That's true. You feel like that? I did a show called Speech Oh. Really? Yeah. Well, it wasn't about speech and debate, right? It was not. It was not. No. Mm. Bummer. It's a great, um, a great activity. <laughs> Get involved, people. Do people know that you did speech? Is that like something that you... I think he talks about it frequently. I, you talk about it with us, but you don't... I mean, is it like something... I have to be fair, I've hung out with you multiple times. I've never heard you talk about well, it. Well, so. it's, it's, it's an if you know, you know. Like, I have been recognized in public for speech more than granted no one really saw Are You Afraid of the Dark, but more than acting. Like, what? Like, people rec like, oh, I saw your mm -hmm. picture for, at the national conference or something like that. No, like, they saw the video or on, on YouTube where they competed against me, or, you know, it's like a that world is very niche. And even in the industry, like, I've, I've met many casting directors that have 
did speech and are like, no way, like you're a national champion. And then they like watch my video and then like, yeah, or people all over. The alumni list is insane. Just if you don't know what speech and debate is, it's it's absolutely nothing. But if you know what it is, it's a big Do people deal. like hate debating with you over things because you just kind of crush them on it? Well, he's a master different. debater, so. Well, the thing is, is that, okay, the, guys, this can't be the topic of the podcast because it's boring, the but <laughs> debate and speech are actually different. So I never really did debate. Speech is separate. It's like speech uh, is speech is almost more like a. It's like competitive acting. Yeah, Bradley, he did speech, and it's not debatable. All right, so stop asking. There it is. <laughs> yeah, but I can't debate pretty good <clears throat> if anyone wants to do that. I don't want to. I actually um, don't. Uh, so <laughs> I did that enough. I don't. What know. was it? Okay, can you finish? You, I feel like you oh, didn't yeah, really my story? finish your story. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so my dentist office. <laughs> Wait, I thought we were right, in a volleyball up right gear there. doing an audition. No, this was ju- that was just a thing that Jake wanted to share. She was yes. in her volleyball gear at the dentist. At the office. dentist office. Is okay, dentist. You, is okay, that how you say dentist? Dentist. You say dentist. How do you say pillow? Oh, dentist. Oh. That's how you say pillow. Wait, you guys don't say pillow like dentist? That's crazy. No, some people say pillow. Yeah, I know. Oh, and that, that makes me I feel like die. you would say pillow, and I feel like you would say egg, and I feel and like milk. you would say milk. Egg. Milk. And egg. your rim. How do you say egg? Egg. Yeah, he said. <gasps> Wait, no. say it again. Say it again. Egg. <gasps> Jake. Bradley. <laughs> the, the no. The, 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 okay, Dennis. <laughs> dentist. <laughs> dentist. Fair, I am dentist. Hours. I guess I do say dentist. I say oh Dennis. God. Really? Dentist. Yeah, I bet yeah, you say a lot of. Anyway. I know, dude. Doesn't it suck to have a California accent? Stupid. Most like clean and concise accent there is in the world you don't want to is, talk like this wait are you from california talks. that's not how my yeah. no but my mom Same did time. say uh, wait what did she say oh should we bowl them oh should we bowl them she was making deviled eggs and she was like i'm gonna bowl these eggs your yeah, mom does have an accent yeah, oh, she sure does. okay I, I was so, gonna talk about accents but i don't want to offend the dentist. Our audience. i'm at the dentist yeah. i'm at the dentist the kids dental in plano texas and my they were like oh shout we're out. doing like a i thought you were out, saying like dental. oh this kid's dental okay anyway and you know texas and they were like we don't have to air this episode they were they were like um (laughs) there's this like parenting magazine or whatever in plano and they were like doing an open call or whatever i did it here (laughs) i did it i enjoyed it i liked the attention and my mom was like oh my god we should get this girl an agent and that's how it happened (laughs) said he said they did an open mic night. And I'm just picturing Mika this like, child. Hey, so Mika. what's up with these Apple Jacks? She's got the rolled up sleeves and everything. She's just... Okay, go ahead. Please keep going. That's really funny. Um, I, like I've been still joke? imagining this entire story in volleyball gear. No, no, no. I was. This was... Oh, volleyball wait, but it, gear no, was happening Volleyball later. gear was the video. And the, volleyball these gear are separate the stories. Oh, I yes. thought you fully wore knee pads. and Because no, right now, video. I have your doing an open mic night at a dentist with volleyball <laughs> knee pads <laughs> That's what I'm... And, and my mom yelling at me. Awesome. This story's so yeah, cool. And your mom saying, get this girl an agent. As you're standing there with, with you know, ASIC knee pads on in the dentist. With a mic. Yeah. No, that was actually really it. That's That's really my story. That's great. That Pam like targeted that Pam you. like targeted me. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, and then yeah, I got <laughs> it. trying to figure out how that got right. you okay, right. acting. <laughs> so then, so then I enjoyed it. My mom was like, "Wow, she talked to people today. I should keep, get her to do this mm. again." Got an agent in Dallas. Did commercials and print and mm. stuff. Go ahead. Was gonna ask. Did did you actually like it? Like I you, did like it. Yeah, I did like it. I liked getting my makeup done, and I liked being dressed, and then I liked. I really like. So, so one more time, did you like it? Did you like acting? I, and I liked. <laughs> you just no, I actually, I don't actually think yes, that I liked. Yes, I loved crafty and the food. I don't and the think drinks. I liked acting until I was like literally seventeen years old. But I didn't not like it. I just didn't enjoy like acting. Like that's not what I liked about it. But I liked mm. my job. You liked the idea. I liked the idea of being there, and I really liked people telling me, especially when I was little. I liked people telling me how like <laughs> mature you, you were- I was. For oh my yeah. Age. Oh man. <laughs> um. Like, <laughs> I did too. I, I was like, 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 that. like, when they were like, wow, like, she's off book, and like, she's really like, <laughs> wow. I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> pretty good. I'm like, pretty good. Um, <laughs> I really fell off though, you know, I, I like that too, but I feel like it just it fades away. Not, it didn't. Well, people still tell you you're mature for your age. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, you're so mature for your age. Do you think you're mature for your age? <laughs> Not anymore. No, I, as a, like a 10 year old, I was like, huh? When were you mature? For Way you? before I knew you. Wait, but don't right. you keep maturing? So if you were ahead, yeah, shouldn't, wouldn't you still be ahead? No, you plateau. No, you plateau. And it's the same plateau. way. It's like if you don't you keep. doesn't plateau. Absolutely. But You're not yes, learning it does, as much. Actually. What? It My grandpa what... is more mature than me. <laughs> 
That's a fact. <laughs> I'd say in some ways, yes. Some ways, no. Gotcha. I'd say in some ways, yes. Some ways, no. I actually agree. I mean, it, it's it's what you learn. The reason I people said I was mature is because I wasn't like crying on set and I was happy to be there. And they'd be like, yeah. "Oh my god, mm. you're just so manageable and and so cordial and a nice young boy." I, I mean, remember that, one time I had a fun time on set, and I <laughs> one time, <laughs> not one time. One time I was happy. Like maybe you don't and like I, acting. I got the attention. I, being... I got one time fun on set. <laughs> I was being silly and I was like I was like rolling around on the floor or something. It was for a for a furniture commercial or something. Oh. Uh, and I was Nebraska like just being a mark? kid. No, it wasn't for Nebraska oh. Furniture Mart. And my and mom you were was like rolling on the floor? Yeah, I was like rolling around on the floor and my and I'm like eight and my mom was like, What the fuck are you doing? You such... And she was doing speed. <laughs> and I had so much energy. We had such different that was, the, that was the one time that I was like not mature for my age. Well, I'm getting a call from yeah, you my can mom. Go ahead and take that. <laughs> hey mom, I'm doing a podcast right now. Can I call you back later? Okay. <laughs> Wait, the way that she okay, said got it. She said I'm gonna get yeah, okay, this information got it. Love you, out. Mike. about Rivian. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, 20 more minutes. So, uh, do you have any more questions? Yeah, I did. Wait, what, what were we just talking about? We were I, talking, I just made no, 16 I, jokes. I, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I think I'm still trying to tell my story. Thank oh, you. Oh no, actually, no, no I finished on, that a while ago. We're going back to the volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. I think we may have finished that one. I think no. we did actually finish it. <laughs> no, um, but we were talking about maturity. But I also think a baby face makes people think you're more mature. He pointed at you. Mm. He did. <laughs> well, no, but a baby, I think all around, there's a lot of baby faces happening face. here. Not so Maybe not you. you still got. Me? Well, you don't look old, but you don't. I look. think <laughs> you're a lady. You got a I lady face. I think I face. don't have a lady face. I think I look like I'm 17. But people are always I like, you're so like mature. And I'm like, no, I'm actually, you know, 14, 23. Just like the actual adult. Yeah. Someone commented something. One of the comments on one of the trailers or whatever was like, Oh no, I know the way they're pointing at me. Like, I know it's bad. It was like, it was like, wow, um, that, that, that main kid really like holds his ground around all those like older <laughs> actors or something like that. Like basically saying that like he is clearly so much younger than Gabe, but like he's still like, you know, yeah, does well. Mm -hmm. And Gabe's like three years younger than him. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of discussion about uh, Gabe's physique mm. and Gabe's ripped in the movie. And I'm not. I don't I, take my shirt off one time in the whole movie. <laughs> no, you do actually. You do, and you. Sh he shaved his oh the, for the underwater hair yeah. into like a perfect line because he thought it was gonna look good. Yeah, on I camera. regret that. And so it looks much. like insane. It looks so bad. Instead I'll just, be totally honest with you. I didn't notice. You didn't. You, you got. You got thirty. I wasn't really looking seconds. at your happy trails. So yeah, I mean, maybe. the shot is literally just my. There's a lot. Crotch. There's a lot else happening in that shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Mika's, yeah, underwater. Do you feel like Adam took a lot of risks with the movie? <laughs> like, uh, in terms of, you know, shooting your happy trail and letting Gabe get jacked? No, not really. But, like, do you feel like he took any risks with the movie compared to, like, other stuff he's done? I've never seen Dinner America. Have mm -hmm. you guys seen Dinner America? Yeah. Not, not, I mean, Adam is, he, the movie he did before Dinner America called Bunny Game is gnarly. It's a, like, a, it's like a, I don't even know what you would call it, like a, 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 it's a thriller, but yeah. like a, a, an er, not erotic. What is the? Mm. <laughs> that's I, not I the word. What is it when it's like a um, huh. a thriller? Like what's fair play considered? Have you guys seen that? No. Mm -hmm. It's like, so a, it's like a sexual psychological? thriller. Psychological thriller, but like oh. a sexual psychological. Yeah, that's thriller. An erotic. Erotic. Yeah. erotic. Not erotic. It shouldn't yeah, be erotic. Sure. No, Bunny Game was what it was called, and it's like banned. I think it's banned in some foreign area. country. Yeah, or something. Or parts of this country. No, oh, not, not in this country, but it, it's very. <laughs> Wait, wait. Banned in this it's banned in uh, every what I'm country. saying is Adam is not new to taking risks and dinner in America was very polarizing as well. Also, I feel like this amazing. is not, this wasn't a mat. Like I feel like it's a risk for him to think that to like trust that people would want to hear this story, but also like mm -hmm. there's not yeah. a lot of like, um, everything happened. So he's just like telling the story. He's not like, Oh, is this part going to work in this part? Like that's just how it happened. Yeah. It's just so strange to watch, like, ask you questions, both of you, and to have you answer them very seriously. You've also been there for so many of the like, oh, I've seen the Q and A's. Like, you know everything. Yeah, I've seen yeah. the movie six times. I left before the Q and A, but so yeah, I know. Um, I did. I also to. heard about that too. I, I did have to, and I say goodbye to your mom. I gave her a nice big hug and a kiss. And, uh, and <laughs> what about her dad? <laughs> bigger kiss. <laughs> um, no hug though. You got to work with him a lot more. Uh, I'm just curious, dude. What was it? Uh, did you have a good time working with Nick? He's he's a fucking unbelievable actor. Yeah, he's so like good. you just kind of sit there and it's it's like yeah, you're 
you're really good at this, dude. Totally. Like, was it fun to work with him? Because he just seems so natural with everything he does. It was. It was. It was really fun. Um, and it's it's so true. I mean, it felt that way on set too. Like when he would do his takes, you can just tell. Like there's just a difference of like the energy. It was like, oh, so that's like like a movie star. Like you know what I mean? Like when he would do yeah. his like coverage and things, Gabe and I would always be like, damn. I never saw like, him work. You never had a s- no. Nope, no, I, you did. No, but I never really like. Not really. He you doesn't have any intimate scenes with him in the movie. Well, like uh, more like big scenes, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I All, think yeah. he, the, his role isn't like he's not screaming, crying, like, you know, in a war scene or something. But it, I think that's what was so impressive about that's, it. It's I was so just, yeah. chill. It's just like it real. didn't feel like acting. Yeah, exactly. Nothing about it felt like acting. Yeah. Which was cool to watch. Yeah. No, he's but you great. guys all did like a really good job. I feel like matching his energy. It's yeah. always fun to like mm-hmm. when somebody like that is on your set. To like kind of follow along and be like, okay, what are the what are the little nuances that this person does yeah. that like I can try to emulate, you know? I found that with like comedy, like working with anybody who's like a like a well known like stand up comic or something yeah. like that. You're like, dude, I just want to be as funny as you. So how do I do this? You know? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. trying to watch them and like along for the be ride. as yeah, funny yeah. as them. But then they'll do like improv on sets and you're like, fuck, I don't want to say anything because it's probably not gonna be funny and I don't want to oh my gosh, this whole like thing. Jillian, the yeah. girl the his sister? Yeah, Jillian, yeah, his sister. sister. Uh, big the, improv. The woman Jillian, who plays Jillian his mom. Short weird. Wait, is it spelled with a G or a J? J. 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 Oh, no, yeah. I thought it was a J. Jillian's a G. <gasps> what no, is your sister? It's only Jillian Vigman, I thought it was it's a G. G. It's a G. Oh, okay. I believe it's it's the only G-I-L. person I've ever seen. G-I-L. Oh, I only know this because I actually looked up that oh, really? recently. Yeah. I don't know why. But Jillian, Jillian's hilarious. She's hilarious, and yeah. she did so much improv. And David Costable, who played my dad. Yeah. They were... He's in, so funny. Yeah, he's so funny. The whole movie is pretty down to earth. I mean, like, you guys are kind of high energy because you're 14 years old but everything's pretty grounded in reality and that's a really cool you take that? thing my about uh, eye doctor <laughs> yeah, well, hey mom Wait, go you ahead guys buy are that popular. car I, I feel like let me see, i don't think anyone's tried to contact me uh, charles, my mom co- will call me if me. i answer the phone in the morning my mom will call me six times that day charles wants to know if you're gonna watch in her advice because she thinks yeah, she might well, be catching you, you on a good tonight? day oh tomorrow night yeah um go ahead anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did you just arrange plans for you, Charles, and Jake to go? <laughs> to go <on. laughs> I bet Charles would come over, like if we're watching a movie. Like, hey, can I come? Actually, up? I bet he would. Charles is their producer. Um, <laughs> why are you doing that? I'm sorry. Did you this just ask my, me why? This is my favorite part. Did you just <laughs> ask me? Did you just ask <laughs> me too? I thought I was t- allowed to do that. Um, absolutely. Yeah. It, it's uh, very. Why are you doing it's that? It's a very grounded... I mean, it takes place in the Midwest, so it's very true to its roots, and I feel like that's the yeah. cool thing about... Uh, Jake loves the Midwest. And I it's like an R-rated Midwest. comedy. I think that's that's the big thing. Yeah. It's like, those don't those aren't that common anymore. I, yeah, no. I would agree. I watched uh, Next Goal Wins last night. Oh, yeah. oh I saw plane. that. It wasn't an R-rated comedy, but it was fine. <laughs> I like Snack Shack better, I have to say. Oh, okay. I watched I Mama Mia last night for the first time. The I, I like thing. Next Goal Wins. Can you imagine? <laughs> it just it it inched just, you guys out. It just, was yeah. better. It was interesting watching, uh, what was the, because I, never mind. Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. Going from Jojo Rabbit to Next Goal Wins, that was the last Taika Waititi film I saw. Fume. So wait, what and did you think of the end of Next Goal Wins? Uh, I did not see it. I, I was, uh. He fell asleep. He, not fell asleep. He fell asleep because he was like, just on the plane. Not because it was a bad movie. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, you, like, oh, baby, this is actually just rock to sleep or something. Yeah, Snack, Snack, Snack Shack will be on the airplane movie uh, system. Yeah, what? soon. It will Do you know be. which airline or all of them? I think it's all one thing that I they all kind of subscribe to. Is it not? I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like so. it is. No, Apparently, it's a big deal. My my agent is was telling me to go on planes, and a lot of people watch it. Like many views. To go. <laughs> this is so <laughs> this <is a> big <laughs> deal to go on planes. We Mika, can you scoot your head back a tiny bit? Like that. That's pretty good. And your posture, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, keep it like that. <laughs> no, I've been trying to interpret everything that Jake is saying without seeing his face. Oh, like which that? Is okay. Yeah, that's so much. <laughs> um, got somewhere to be. I have to say, I, yeah. I've seen a lot of movies that I <laughs> that I've loved on planes, huh. and also been like, oh man, I meant to watch that. Or what's this movie? Mm-hmm. I do think? watch a movie on. Go. You want to go? No, you got it. I feel like you oh, take okay, a thanks. risk. Yeah, I do watch movies more on planes. I think Bradley's going to move the conversation forward in any second. Than other times. <laughs> like, literally. I was just going <clears> to, <throat> let's think of some other things. Well, you know, I'm sure the fans, uh, <laughs> fans of this show probably really want to know the, 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 the juicy details. When did you guys start dating? When, how mm. did you start dating? Because I know all these things, so I don't care. Well, Connor and I people, are not very public about it, right. obviously. Yeah. Um, but you, you guys, <sighs> you do have to talk about appeal. it because that's why these people are tuning in. It, it ain't for me and Connor. It's 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 all this the well it certainly ain't for me because 
Yeah, never mind. It's for Snack it's, Shack. Because this that old woman trying hated to, the movie. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get in on your what press store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but this um, is a good story, actually. This story? I think you guys told me this in Nebraska. About it's a cute story. Sex yeah, appeal. Yeah, yeah. How you guys yeah. met. And there you um, go. Together. We met doing a movie called, called Sex Appeal. For American High. There's water bottle right here. It's turned the wrong Facing way. Facing the wrong it's way. It's turned the wrong way. Yep. Um, and then we started dating a couple uh, months after that. Yeah. After we got back, we kind of... It's a, I mean, yeah, the movie the is about story. sexual I mean, chemistry, so I, I obviously I invited her over so we could go over lines and stuff, and then <laughs> yeah, and then we uh, and you ran that by the intimacy coordinator, yeah, right? yeah, you know, the intimacy one, coordinator who was very concerned about what we were doing the intimacy on set. Coordinator that didn't exist that didn't on our exist set? that gave me a phone call one day, and I was like, "We're good, we're good." Yeah, yeah. They were still very like. Um, it was also a COVID movie still, so the set was weird, mm. but um. <clears throat> So you guys didn't tell. No one knew that you guys were. No, nobody. No, but together, we did together. Yeah, while no, nobody knew. Um, a few people found out. Yeah. How? Uh, well, one of the makeup ladies walked into our dressing room <laughs> well, and we were uh, oh, rehearsing a scene. So yeah, and she was mm. like, <gasps> <laughs> "What happened?" Oh, uh, one of the one of the makeup. The, it was actually the hair. Lady. The hair lady walked into my room. During lunch, which we was right next to the hair and makeup room, she walked into my room on accident, we were and we were scene. rehearsing a scene. What scene? <laughs> well, Hang on. So somebody just walked in on y'all, and she goes, "You were rehearsing doing some, it? No, no, we were, no, no. There's no. no sex in the movie. There's no sex in the movie. <laughs> Wait, this no, is no, a, we were just PG like, I guess like, it is an R movie, but we were she just, walked we were in just on just you guys rehearsing some blocking, some blocking. We were blocking a scene. We were testing out some tricks, some blocking." It's so lighting. <laughs> so, so somebody walked Jake in and you guys making the out scene. or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's hilarious. It was, yeah, it was pretty funny. funny. The shock to be like, on her face was really like, Well, she like, just like walked in and then it. walked right out and then the, and then obviously went into the Did she make room. an audible noise though? Was it she like, was like, <clears throat> and then she walked out and then I got a text from the makeup lady that was like, <laughs> do you want to talk? <laughs> or like, once, we need to talk or something. Once that So I went in there and they were all like, what's going on? I said once the hair and makeup trailer knows it's over. It's it was oh over. Oh my yet. god, yeah. That's no, but they so kind of then you guys started dating a couple months later. <clears throat> you know. Bradley graduated from college. Let's go. Around the same time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> trying to change the subject. Um, <laughs> did, did something happen that you're avoiding? Yeah, Bradley yeah, and, I and I actually got together. For a bit. Yeah. yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. There's no way. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. No. Oh. I was like, whoa. Yeah, all this yeah, time we I had that break. I was also like, you had a girlfriend too. I believe yeah, you dated yeah, for a yeah. long time. Not at, and then not not at that time. We didn't do Definitely. just one podcast. Time. We did two podcasts after I found out about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got together. All right. Well, <laughs> Jake's really big on I still facing do a things. Podcast. Just chill. He's super just chill. So chill. Everything. Super. Bradley's actually driving me home later. You know, I'm exactly like Nick Robinson in Snack Shack. I'm just so chill. Bradley's going to drop me off at home later. Okay. All right. He's picking me up. Wait, you were Where picking we me up oh, to, to go to the casino. Oh, yeah. we were going to the casino. and I have a date. Yeah, 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 we have a date to the casino, remember? Uh, it's oh, yeah. you planned because you didn't want to go to the casino. <laughs> I did plan it, yeah. I hate it's it. It's crazy that I know all of you guys and I'm still kind of confused and I just can't imagine how everyone out there that doesn't know you personally is Bradley and I have never even looked at each other. It's right. just a hard room to uh, tell a story to. <laughs> this is a hard This is a hard audience. Uh, you know, I'm just going to say <laughs> I'm going to say it I'm just for to, to clear up my name. I, Jake, I have not been able to see your face. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I've, I've, I've adapted. Well, he's but leaning I can't so tell when you're back. joking because huh? you, I just hear this voice and I take it as fact. Yes. But now I can see that you're not serious Wait, Almost at everything all. Wait, I say, say something as a, as a joke and say something as fact. So I, I have see. six left fingers. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. And I'm 5'9". What's a right finger? I don't know. <laughs> what, what well, you're worried about left or right? I have He's got six, six fingers on my left hand. I have six <laughs> left fingers. <laughs> okay. The fact that Mika pulled back out of that my corner right now. finger is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to plug your movie. I was going to do it at the end, but I, I want to well, plug Bradley it now. Well, Bradley did it because... in the beginning. What? It's no. the worst movie this one no. lady has ever seen. No, no, no. That's true. No, 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 no. My point of that story was that that old lady sucks. And she well, was stupid because be it was now. actually a really good movie. She was stupid. Look it's on. in theaters <laughs> across America. How many theaters? Like 500? Yeah, 450 yep. or something 450. like that. <laughs> and it had a good opening Ooh, weekend, didn't it? It sucks for those other it did. It did good, relative. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, not, for a $5 million movie, it's yeah. I feel like I'm to, to make dying. close to $500,000 a million is, right? Yeah. Didn't it? 
in opening actually, week. Don't, nice. I don't know the, the, um, the comparatives. IMDb, but IMDb has the um, the gross, the gross. Net income. No, but I don't it know just what the movie was gross. like relative. Gross. <laughs> just nasty. That woman's in charge. You guys of doing pretty well on. Are you a review hound? Are you like checking why are you in asking to see that question? What mm, I am you? for? No, why are you asking him that question? This specifically, but him. are what? you? Wait, is there something? Because we are know you? that you. Oh, I am. Yeah. Yes. Reviews. Okay. But uh, I also think it's for this one. It's because we waited so long. So it's I'm not even reading reviews to be like, did they like me? It's more to like see people, like r- like it, it impacted by the movie. It's been cool to like read people's like, experiences. Did yeah. they like you? The did movie they like in the movie. You? Yeah. Yeah, the reviews have been great. They've been really nice, but I think they the also... The audience score is super high. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just actually, on Letterboxd, which might have changed by the time this comes out, I don't know, we're in the top uh, top 50 ratings of 2024 so far. Oh, wow. On Letterboxd. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Dune is really, really high Letterboxd. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Makes sense. They have like 4.6. It's crazy. Remember when you said that Dune was your favorite movie and then you were like, I'm supposed to watch it later this week? Yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah. Of course, we did a we did, we an, did interview. an interview where they were like, "What's your top four movies?" And he was like, uh, "Dune." I'm supposed to see it later this week. I didn't say that. I said I could say Dune. And Mika looks at me and goes, <laughs> says, "You loved Saltburn," <laughs> <laughs> which I saw Saltburn with them, and I didn't. He was very unsettled the whole time. Of course, yeah. I mean, it was an crazy. unsettling movie. I mean, it's yeah. not supposed to make you feel comfortable. And then she sure. had me blast out to the entire Letterbox fandom that my favorite movie is and his, Saltburn. His favorite part was <laughs> the dr- the slurping of the <laughs> the, the, drain. the drain. Yeah, notated. Mm. Um, so it's in uh, close to 500 theaters. Um, you can see it. What is it like? Big big theaters, or is it like theaters? It's uh, big, big what's theaters. that? Regular it's, yeah, theaters. It's, it's all the, yeah, it's normal theaters. Yeah, normal okay. theaters. Like AMC uh, it's on theaters, demand too, right? AMC, seventy million IMAX. So go get your Mika did a Q and A in her hometown. He did a Q and A in his hometown uh, for the movie, and you never know they may may do a Q and A in your hometown. But go go out, check it out on demand. Yeah, we're actually or, going on tour. Mika and I. Are just, I mean, we're touring like around. <laughs> you guys mics. literally have done that. You've done like six screenings here, and then you did like we one did the in one in Nebraska. One in Nebraska. Yeah, it's a mini tour. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. It wasn't which not supposed many to really to be that, though. It kind of just happened. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like, or how did it feel premiering the film in Nebraska City where you guys shot it, Adam's hometown? It was, <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> it was just weird because it was, um, Adam didn't let anyone read this. I'm looking at the camera, speaking to the people right now. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, but it was weird because Adam didn't let anyone read the script. And it's all about real people. I mean, inspired by real people. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so they all came out. They yeah. were like, I heard that I'm this person in the movie or I'm this person in the movie. And like his parents and his best his parents friend. parents hadn't seen it before. Real life Moose was there, had never read the script or seen anything. There was a real life Moose on oh, set. Yeah. <laughs> in no. Nebraska? And three yeah. elk. Yes. And he still lives there in Omaha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> the elk? The Moose. Moose. And- Moose. Booba. Yeah, he was nice. His name's Booba. It was, it was wild going to Adam's parents' house yeah, his before name's the screening. Booba, his but his name's... nickname is Moose? Wait, 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 wait. His Jer- name is Jared. His name Jared. is Jared. <laughs> Booba is his nickname, Booba and Moose is, like... is the character name that is inspired by him. Yes. Inspired by Booba. That, that, that sure. pre-screening like thing at party at Adam's house was wild. Oh, yeah. Adam's parents did a, did a barbecue. <laughs> but it was crazy for his parents to be sitting behind me watching it for mm-hmm. the first time. Like the real, t- his dad really is the judge. Like he really is the judge in the town. And the mayor was there. The whole town was there. You know and Adam's mom said to and me? The, I don't remember. Oh, uh, no, ordinary. Yeah. yeah. Why, why is the everyone looking at me? This is not my story. I don't, I just, She's I, looking for validation. I'm looking I know. For validation. Her eyebrows were like this. She's like. <laughs> Connor, am I ordinary? You're not you ordinary. Think I'm okay. ordinary? Uh, Extra, 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 extra. I was gonna say. Well, let me just say, uh, I've watched a lot of bad movies recently. I feel like movies have just really sucked in the last couple years, and I was very pleasantly surprised by your guys' film. I really was. I feel like oftentimes you go to somebody's, like a friend of yours, screening, and you don't know what you're getting into, especially if it's kind of indie. Mm. But I feel that way. Very, I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. It's a comedy. We need comedies right now. Yes, and it was funny. You all did a really good job too. I feel like that movie with bad acting mm-hmm. would be tough. Yeah. Well, I feel like when I read the script, you guys might relate to this too, because I, I, mean, I, I did a Nickelodeon show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might no, but I, uh, like, I played a kid on a Nick show, and I know you guys all did, like, when you were really younger. But um, the writing in this was the first time I read a 14, 15 year old boy that I felt like spoke 
close to how 14, 15 year old boys yeah. talk yeah. in private. Certainly. Like everything else I've read since being out in LA was very like, hello, papa. Like, you know, yeah. and then like, you know, trot out of the room. But <laughs> we're like going out for Downton Abbey. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was also, yeah. Never mind. And but, someone um, asked me about the cursing in the movie, and I said exactly what you said because I heard you say it in the QA, and I was like, that's oh, absolutely how it's spoken. Like, yeah. yeah. It was so cool to read that too, like on paper and have it be supported by producers and, and get pushed out there. Which is why the movies are. We found yeah. out from We're Charles that, like, that that someone at one point tried to ask him if they could make the movie PG thirteen like a day after shooting, and he was like, "That's it's just a day after the you're allowed one fuck. a day no a day after um the first day of shooting in a PG thirteen oh. movie you're, you're allowed, allowed one you're allowed one fuck you're allowed three, three fucks actually three fucks three fucks, fucks. non consecutive non consecutive three three non consecutive fucks oh. often do so I guess go, fuck 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 yeah well that'll do it we're definitely R rated now that's what he said he was like from the first scene it's R immediately. The guy who was doing the rating, they just yeah, sent him home. Because there's nothing like, actually over. that that rated R about the movie other than the fuck the language, and the shit. Yeah. I mean, and, yeah. the cigarettes and the cigarettes. Cigarettes, like you allude to sexually explicit things. Drinking and driving. A lot of That'll drinking and driving, yeah. I would say the whole movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not 2017 anymore. What? Man, I feel like that's a joke. I it's get just, it. That was a deep. Um, I remember. You, that. You, we'll explain it in a minute. Let's uh, let's wrap it up. It was, <laughs> what? I feel like that's a joke. Go ahead. Jeez. Should we make this a two-hour episode? Is it? We not? could. Wait, you guys crop it down, right? <laughs> Absolutely no, not. Dude. No, we we're here for really? the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. And I've been sitting here like this all day. Yeah. I Wait, we need to spice this Why are you up. Twitching um, so much? I don't know. Should I everyone twitch. go around and say something that they've never said in public? <laughs> sure. Let's yeah, do that. that's a great idea. Start it off, Kramer. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say. Hey, I, okay, this is something, wait, no, I don't want to do, that. um, I have to be home I don't, in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. All right. So I'll stop thinking then. I don't know the months <laughs> of the year in order. I I'm think everyone serious? out there, you should mm -hmm. go buy your tickets hey, to go now. see Snack Shack. Mm -hmm. It's a great anyway, summertime film, like great summertime bad. comedy, uh, uh, feel good movie on, with some twists yeah. and some turns, a lot, a lot of, uh, themes of friendship, relationships, brief romance, but really just what summer feels like when you're a kid and there's a lot going on and nothing going on at the same time. And I really enjoyed the movie the I loved it. 15 times I watched it. And uh, <laughs> you guys should all go see it as many times as you can in theaters. And if you can't make it to theaters, it's on demand. Or it, it get is. on a plane and watch the movie. It and depending, might be and depending on when this comes it out, might be cheaper it'll be on play. Amazon. It's oh, yeah, it will, be, it will allegedly be on Amazon. I heard I that you yesterday. you said not to confirm that. But right now it's in theaters. This is coming out yeah, Monday. Yeah, I would, so. and I would seriously go see it in theaters. If I you would can. say go see it in theaters because I want people to go back to theaters. I yeah, know. I think going to the theaters is great, and I actually loved being in the theater watching the film. Yeah, because you know, I, I I was watching a movie the other day, and I found myself on my phone while watching the movie. I was just at home at my apartment watching a movie, and I thought, this is stupid, dude. Somebody spent millions of dollars making this film, so much time and effort, and I'm looking at my phone. When you're in a movie mm. theater, you're not going to do, do that. You know, you're just going to sit there and watch it, and you enjoy the story a lot more, which I did. Granted, the last time I saw it in the movie theater, I did get on my phone. I have seen mm. the movie ten times, so yeah. I think that's a little different. But I think it's also like we've seen the movie in like small screening rooms. We've seen the movie in actual theaters, and it's like so much better to see it. It's like a very, it's very much like a popcorn and soda. Yeah, kind yeah. of movie. Yeah. It feels like a classic. Go to the like theaters. go with your friends, yeah. listen to the people in the audience laugh or cry or do whatever they're doing. Yeah. Yes, agree. Well, oh, I, that. <laughs> I very much enjoyed it, and I think a lot of people enjoy it. And I think you guys are gonna have a very successful career after this film. Yeah, thank, thank you. I hope it does everything you want and more. And I hope the podcast works out for you guys. Thanks so much. Um, Thanks, because it, it really benefits you too. If yeah. it does, make sure you fill it that sure survey. Does. What uh, the survey? Huh? What survey? Maybe survey maybe the prize for the, the survey will be Connor and I doing a private Q and A. I think that that might nude. sell really well. Private nude, private yeah. nude Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people Wait. are hoping for. Um, all right, thank you guys for coming on. Anything yeah. you want to say? Um, I think plug we covered film. a lot of it. I just yeah. just think that I said my big thing. I haven't told anyone, and then we stopped that activity. So, Connor doesn't know this. <laughs> so I just wanted to just circle back on that, but that's okay. Maybe Were we, you the kind of kid that couldn't read time on a analog clock? No, Ooh, it's I don't just know that. Ran out of time. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't read it, so I didn't. Thanks, know. sir. Thanks for coming on, Mika. Oh, and Connor. Ooh, I thought he oh, was yeah. about to grab her boob. Wait, you guys should kiss boob. for the fans. Bradley and I. Of course. <laughs> That's exactly what I know again. Maybe we'll see later. you in the outro. Bye. Thanks for coming Wait, on. Guys, guys, show them that you love each other. Guys. There we go. This is our love. We'll see you in the outro. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming on, guys.
That was an interesting episode. That was fun. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's tough. We've talked about this before, but it's 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 tough to talk to somebody that you know That's so well. That's the toughest one. I know. You know? I know for a fact we're gonna get comments going. You know, as a journalist, uh, I fucking hated questions. that interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, it's tough though, dude. It's really tough because you're like, well, I, I I feel like I did I do okay. I felt like I tried to ask questions about like the yeah, we got off that, the rails, but you ask good questions. Thanks. I, I tried because I was just trying to think of like things that maybe I didn't know much about Connor. Um, I've just spent so much time with Mika. The, yeah, the questions that I have, I'm like, even watching her answer it, I'm like, you're not taking this seriously right now. I know when she is. <laughs> I know when she's giving a formulated answer and when she's giving an answer that's... Well, it's probably tough for her, too. Cause she's not, also answered all of these questions a thousand times the last month. Yeah, but it also doesn't feel like she's doing a real interview, probably. No. It feels like she's just messing around with... You know, it's also weird, this, too, because right? I feel like I'm home right now. And I've spent so much time with her that I also feel like she feels like it's home, but she's never been here. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting how that works, because I feel like sometimes we're sitting here and we know nothing about the people, so it's a little like... Awkward of like, oh, new person, you know, where yeah. do we sell? I don't know, but um, no, it's fun. It was fun to do. And I really did uh, enjoy their movie a lot. I really thought it was really good. We, I wish I had asked some questions. I loved Karin's episode so much. And I feel like the people that want to hear about the film industry and actors and coming up and stories and struggles, that was a really cool episode. I agree. And I, we, I wish I had asked That's, more questions like that. The comments on that were really good of like learning about working in the film industry and yeah i mean it was eye-opening for me oh for sure yeah, yeah um well that transitions me into a good question here uh somebody mm. asked on this last one on the episode with Karin actually uh on the topic of acting if you guys could change one thing in your career thus far what would it be if anything i would change the last four years of it uh it just it was just slow i think uh the thing that I took for granted to at the beginning of my still young career was that people did want to work with me and I was very desirable because I did know what I was doing outside of um, people in our age range, yeah. people in a similar situation. But at the same time, I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, it was like Disney Channel comedy, so it's very over the top and we're just having fun shooting the shit. At least for me, it, it felt like I was just doing an activity like soccer or school or just it's something that was second nature that I was having fun doing. And I wish I had known that uh, it was not going to be like that forever, especially when things shut down during COVID because I pretty consistently worked until COVID came around. I mean, I did it like a project every six months or so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough because, I mean, I don't regret, I don't regret any project I did by any means. I regret it's exactly like what you're talking about. It's, it's, it's hard to know that at the time you are a little more desirable mm. and like you could have, you look at some people like, um, well, there's certain people I feel like who've done such a great job at going, okay, well, I'm just going to do everything I can to transition my career into the next level. You look at somebody like, uh, the people who have come off Disney of, uh, like somebody like Zendaya, mm. you know, or even Sabrina, like people like that who just went, all right, well, I have this base now and I'm just going to work my ass off to, to get to the next thing. And I feel like for me, my, I don't regret it by any means, but going to college, like was my time of going, all right, well, I, you know, I did, I worked for 10 years straight. Uh, I did a lot of cool things. I need to, to be normal right now and just have a, have a normal fun life. And, um, I don't regret sucks. that. No, it kind of sucks. Like you, there's a part of you that feels like you had to pay for that though. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sacrifice like, something that you. Yeah, that that is a bummer, uh, and it's it's not like me sitting up on a high horse complaining about my life. It's more of like, it's like the idea of it. It, it is this business that we work in is such like a. It's grueling, but it's so fickle. When you have something, it can go away so quickly, and like it, it's demanding of constant uh, endurance through it. And, and I think that that time that I felt like I made a good choice for myself mm. and, and my life, it could have hurt my career, I guess, you know? And, like, that's such a crazy thing to have to grapple with. You're right. So I don't, I, But I don't regret that. I think it's more of, like, I wish I would have uh, I wish I would have known when I was 17 and just finished Lab Rats that I was like, okay, I'm going to go to college, but I'm also going to simultaneously do everything I can to make sure I can 
have a linear career and college at the same time. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, I don't think I would have had the same college experience. I feel like I made myself just go, I'm fully in this thing and I'm just going to have fun and meet new people and enjoy my life. So I don't know if I would have enjoyed both levels. I don't know. Yeah. It's an open-ended question, I guess, but it's a good question. Thought provoking for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll say one more thing. Um, and it's that I forgot what I was going to say. It's such a good point though. Yeah. You know, I don't think about that often, but I'm going to take that one home today. Oh my God. I, that makes me so frustrated. It's the worst when it happens. But oh. uh, that was a fun episode, and I feel like we did a we did a long interview, and that was a good outro too. I actually really like that question. Thank you for for sending that question. And we should do more stuff like that on the um, if we were to start up a little bit of a. I know what I was gonna say. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, um, I do. I, I do start up a little bit of a what, like a Patreon kind of vibe. Sure. Yeah. Should we um, also do acting classes, sessions, coaching? <laughs> um. I was going to say it's it's different working now than it was when you were a kid because I feel like a lot of people wanted to work with me then. And that's something that I have to rediscover is that like even people watching this podcast, why do they want to watch the podcast? Why do they want to listen to us talk? Sure. Why does someone want to see my tape and what are they getting from it that they're like, oh, I want to work with that. Yeah. That's interesting. So it's a totally different approach that you have to take to this career because it's not for me. I mean, I love the acting side of it and I think it's really cool to tackle new roles and get new opportunities but every opportunity feels like okay who's the who are the people doing this project and how can i make myself stand out to the point where they're like oh i want to work with that that's interesting or that's what i'm looking for it's not like i'm just thinking about the product that i'm putting out anymore it's the right. product and how it's received yeah it's uh it's very different now than it was then so i wish i had known that 4 years ago yeah and i think that also too a lot of people don't realize that kind of along the lines of what you're saying with uh, an audition for sure. It's, I, I I think I've really come to realize when I was younger, I used to just read, like if we were doing Good Luck Charlie and we're three seasons in, genuinely, I would just read, I'm sure you did the same thing. I would just read my scenes before table read. Like I wouldn't even read the whole script. Oh, absolutely not. Like, no. you know, you were just reading your thing. You would read your lines because you knew everything. You knew everything that was going on. And then you get to table read, you hear it all out loud and you're like, yeah, that's exactly what I expected. Now I feel like, it's more important than ever to understand the movie or the TV show as a whole. And then my interpretation of that character and how he would say those lines. Cause mm -hmm. it's not just like I can read the script and go, yeah, this is what I would say it because sometimes you could go look at the script and be like, Oh, I was totally wrong about that whole thing. Like that was not the vibe at all. You know, um, even that audition that we both had the other day, it was like, it was like I was saying, I was like, really funny when you understand how that guy is and why he's saying those things that way. Yeah. When you read it the first time, you're like, oh, that's not, that doesn't really work. But yeah, it's, it's just interesting to have to like retrain my brain to go, okay, this is more of a, more of a job, more of a job than it was like a th luxury. Cause you read material, read material and you're like, I would never say that. Yeah. And as a kid, I was, I, I got mad. I was like, oh, I would never say this. Like I, I this is, yeah, it's I'm like, like, I'm playing a character. Your character. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't understand that. I mean, your, your character was pretty similar to who you were, and that's how you played it, and that's what I did. You yeah, play Gabe, a version of yourself. Gabe was a lot like me. Kaz, I had nothing in common, really. No. Um, so that was, like, kind of the first time I feel like I really played a character. Because even the movie I did with Sharpays, even the movie I did with uh, Pants on Fire, like, those movies. Charlones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, let's, let's wrap this on one. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was a great joke. Um. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Make Thank sure you, you go check out that movie and go do that survey. Survey. Yeah.